And going in, Terrell Owens said it was a chance for the Cowboys to make a statement. A chance to take over first place in the NFC East against a division rival at home. But coming out, it's not about statements, just questions for America's team. Here we go to Dallas for the highlights. Teal made plenty of statements of his own in Monday Night Football, 15 touchdowns. Tiki Barber, the Giants, ready for action. Barber is the NFL's leading rusher, and that makes play action really effective. Early first quarter, fifth play of the game. Ball fake, Eli Manning going up top. Plexico Burris on the other end, 50-yard touchdown. Two catches and 94 yards, plus a touchdown for Burris. And the Giants out to the early lead. But take another look at what happened here. Roy Williams on the coverage. Turns out the Cowboys aren't playing against 11 men. They're playing against 12. The official is in the way. And that helps the Giants take that 7-0 lead. Later in the first, Cowboys backed up with their own one-yard line. LeVar Arrington untouched. Sacked Drew Bledsoe for the safety. Jerry Jones watched Bledsoe get sacked four times. And Troy Eggman like, boy, glad that wasn't me. Later first quarter, Bledsoe, the flea flicker, He's got T.O. wide open, but Arrington tips the ball and it falls incomplete. Take a closer look at this one. Owens has Sam Madison clearly beat, and he gets back to the sidelines like, I'm open. I'm open. Second quarter, Arrington, keep your eye on him as he's being blocked. Comes up lame. Turns out he tore his left Achilles tendon. Had to be carted off the field. And you're not coming back from an Achilles tendon tear, so he is done for the season. Later in the second quarter, it's Bledsoe finding Owens. And Brandon Short, not short on aggression here. Watch the pop he puts on T.O. But still first and goal for the Cowboys. Hey, who says Drew Bledsoe's not mobile? Well, everybody does, but he does get in for the touchdown. His second rushing touchdown of the season. Cowboys cut the lead to 12-7 on the sideline. T.O. like, come on, come on. We're moving now. Ensuing Giants drive, though. Boy, a hit like this will make you think about retiring. Tiki Barber knocked. He fumbles the ball. Cowboys recover. Barber would leave the game under his own power. He would later return, but, you know, they don't hit you like that on Fox and Friends. 27 carries a buck 14 for Barber. Under two minutes left in the half. Second to go for the Cowboys. Sam Madison with the pick. Just a terrible throw by Bledsoe. And Bill Parcells to use a good ain't acid. Remember the red zone pick against the Eagles? Well, there's another one. We move to the third quarter of the moment. Some Cowboys fans have been waiting for Tony Romo coming in in place of Bledsoe. The crowd was chanting, Romo, Romo. He even got a standing ovation. But his first play of the game, it went from Romo to, oh, no. The pass tipped by Michael Strahan, intercepted by Antonio Pierce. And, oh, Parcells really could use that good and acid now. The Giants didn't wait long to cash it in. Manning to Jeremy Shockey. The Giants take a 19-7 lead. Manning 12 of 26, buck 89, and the two touchdowns that you saw. And the tuner could use some helpers right now. Next Cowboys possession, fourth and two. They really need this to keep the drive alive. Get your popcorn ready, but hold the putter. T.O. can't grab it. Cowboys turn it over on down. Once again, Coach, how you doing? All right, thanks. Fourth quarter now. Cowboys trailing 26-7. First to go from the eighth. Owens does hang on here. Six catches, 98 yards, and a touchdown for him. Cowboys convert the two-pointer, 26-15. Romo settled down, and it's a new ball game. Later, fourth quarter, screen pass. Romo never should have thrown. And Parcells, platinum blonde, getting grayer by the minute. Fred Robbins with the pick. Second interception for Romo, for Romo on the night. Fourth quarter, later, Cowboys down 29-15. Last chance for them to make something happen. Romo picked off by Kevin Dockery. You know, Justin Timberlake says he's bringing Sexy back. Well, Dockery's bringing this pick back. Romo, 14 of 25, 227, two touchdowns and the three picks. One final check with the coach. And well, that about sums it up. Giants go on to win it 36-22, and they've made it through a very tough early season stretch with some good looking numbers. Giants, four and two in the season, but now three and on the NFC East, and they get their next three games at home. Just the opposite for the Cowboys. Their next three games are on the road, then a home date with the Colts, and now they have the added distraction of a full tilt quarterback controversy to deal with and a very dissatisfied head coach. I'm ashamed to put a team out there that plays like that. I mean, really. You know, we don't apologize for the people who come out to watch that. That's not good football. I don't feel very good, you know, about the performance right now. You know, this is a... Uh... It's a situation where when you go in, you gotta you gotta perform and you gotta 
win. And that's, that's what my job is, to help this team win. And, you know, I didn't do that today. It's the same as it's always been. I have a great appreciation for this game, a great respect for this game. Um, but my focus right now, as it has been all season, is to get this team to the Super Bowl. And so week after week, uh, we stay strong. We um, do the little things and hopefully get better week in and week out uh, so that our dream and our goal can come true. I don't think we're totally out of it. Uh, it's not really how you start, it's how you finish. And uh, I think the guys know on this team we have our work cut out for us, and um, we're looking forward to the challenge. On Monday night, Michael Strahan was balling. He tied Giants legend and Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor for the most career sacks in team history. Strahan recorded two against the Cowboys. He had only one through the team's first five games.